Anyway, hello from London, and hello to all of you. Usual as usual, there's terrible news in the world. Uh, because we live in a world where people are not taught good values. It is, you know, it's, it's, it's absolutely mind-boggling to me. has been since I was in high school. That very, a very simple message is just not understood. The most important thing we can do is treat people decently, refrain from doing bad things. And that's it. And that's what God most wants. That's called ethical monotheism. It is the greatest teaching in the history of the world. And it hasn't caught on. And uh, the, the latest news is, is, of course, the beheading of an American. Think about it. An American who went to Syria solely in order to help Syrians and converted to Islam has his head sliced off with a knife. Just think of it. Think about it. He did. He, he leaves his comfortable American world to go to help people in Syria just to help and then has his head sawed off. This beheading uh, verb has always troubled me because when you think of beheading, you think of some one quick whack with a a large sort of axe-like object, or you think of a guillotine. Uh, This is a simple knife sawing off the head while the person chokes on his blood and feels his... throat cut just think about that it's for those of us who actually do find it difficult to squash an insect the thought of doing this to a human is so uh, impossible to relate to that it does it brings back my old theory that there are really two races of human beings and that the evil and the decent comprise different races i mean i know literally it's not true but i i sometimes think there may be some truth to it. And, of course, it's uh, the teachings that they believe their religion gives them that enables them to do this. And then the other one is uh, Americans, uh, oh, they are American, dual American Israeli citizens, Jews in a synagogue in Israel today, uh, uh, were hacked to death uh, with axes and stabbed to death Uh, with knives. Two cousins, two Palestinian cousins, went into a synagogue while people were praying and uh, did what I just said. There were six or nine others who were terribly wounded, and uh, the, the report was that they looked like half their faces had been cut away, had been cut off. Another grisly act by uh, what are called Islamic... Uh, what is it, Islamic radicals, whatever the term might be. The thing that is most troubling about the Palestinian attack is how many Palestinians gave out candy because that's what's given out as a celebratory measure. See, killing Jews is the, the happiest act that can happen for most Palestinians. It, 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 it's very, again, it's, it's, it's hard, it's hard like with ISIL, it's hard to understand, it's hard to relate to that, and it's not merely soldiers, obviously, it's just killing a Jew is the greatest thrill that a Palestinian, that the average Palestinian, there are, there are some exceptions, that the average Palestinian experiences. This is the height of joy, because they are saturated like much of the Arab world and parts of the Islamic world outside the Arab world, like Iran and now Turkey, saturated by an an extraordinary amount of hatred of Israelis and therefore, obviously, it's Jews. It's Jews in Israel. But the thought that, oh, Jews outside of Israel are all wonderful obviously doesn't, uh, doesn't play a role either. As we saw by the terrorists, remember the terrorists who went and butchered uh, the rabbi and his, and his wife uh, in the attack on Bombay, on Mumbai? Remember that? Now here are Pakistani terrorists attacking India, and they make a special trip to murder a rabbi. So this lie, this spectacular lie, oh, we love Jews, we just hate 
uh, Zionists, which is Zionism is merely the movement of Jews back to the land which which they had 3,000, 2,000 uh, years ago and again today. That's it. It, it, it is, it's, it's just nonsense. It's pure nonsense. And it's, it's pure nonsense in their actions. Why kill? Why would Pakistani terrorists, Pakistani Muslims, going to murder Hindus and Westerners at a hotel, make a special trip to murder a rabbi who is in Mumbai, if the issue were only Israelis. As if, by the way, that would be morally defensible. It's okay. I mean, was that is that okay? Anyway, this is from uh, ABC News. Americans killed at synagogue include grandson of prominent Boston rabbi, Kansas City native, and Kansas City native. Three Americans were among four killed in a brutal synagogue attack in Jerusalem today including a Kansas City-born rabbi and the grandson of a prominent American Jewish leader. Two Palestinians armed with knives and a gun. I heard an axe. I read an axe in many reports earlier. Maybe that turns out not to be accurate. First reports are often not accurate. Ran into the synagogue and attacked worshipers during morning prayers, according to the reports that I had read as well. They were, while they were slaughtering the Jews, they were yelling, Allahu Akbar. God is the greatest, or Allah is the greatest. The greatest what? Is Allah the greatest? In these people's minds, all these terrorists who scream, Allahu Akbar, what is Allah the greatest in what way? Certainly not morally the greatest. Allah is morally the greatest. And that's why I kidnap girls and sell them into sexual slavery uh, if I'm a member of Boko Haram. It's quite sick, but I don't want to use the word sick because sick makes it sound like it's a pathologic condition when it's just evil. And this was, uh, so that's the report uh, from Jerusalem. And the report from Syria is also terribly distressing. One of the interesting aspects of the uh, this barbaric murder of this former U.S. Army Ranger who had converted to Islam, Kasig, is uh, is is his name, and uh, he uh, he made no statement. Remember all the other Americans and Brits? They they were, I think, or was it maybe just Americans, who were taken in orange outfits that were put on them as if they were prisoners. And then kneeling, uh, they would make some statement against America and then be slaughtered. And I use the word slaughtered because it is intentional to make it as if they are animals who are being slaughtered to be eaten, as if they are goats. By the way, I did see a goat slaughtered that way, and it was very difficult to watch. I didn't watch, actually. Uh, When when I was in Africa, one of my trips to Africa, this was in Zambia, where I was giving out uh, food with some others volunteering. It's about four years ago, because it was also Thanksgiving. Anyway, he made no statement. It makes me believe that they could not coerce him to say anti-American things. I don't know. I also read in another report here in England that the parents forgave the those who slaughtered their son. I'll talk to you about that later. That uh, raises some very interesting moral and theological issues. 1-8 Prager 776 from London. This is the Dennis Prager Show.